Welcome to Digital Marketing Intelligence for Shopify, Ask the Experts. Our weekly podcast and video show offers Shopify's ecosystem of brand owners, store developers, app providers, investors, and marketing agencies, insights from case studies and discussions with marketing and e-commerce experts. Grow faster with tips, tricks, and proven strategies and learn what's new in e-commerce digital marketing for 2022 and beyond. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our next episode of Digital Marketing Intelligence for Shopify Ask the Experts. I'm your host, Marissa Morgan, and I'm excited to welcome you to today's show. Today's topic is a case study on a health supplement company and our guest is an extremely successful serial supplement entrepreneur. He'll be here to explain the four-step blueprint to building a supplement empire to eight figures in record time. I'm excited to introduce our guest, but before I do, a quick mention from our sponsor, Engage. If you haven't heard, Engage just launched their newest app, SMS messaging for Shopify stores this past May in 2022. If you haven't tried it yet, you're missing out on a lot of business. Why? Because if you didn't know the statistics, right now, the open rate on text messages is like 98% compared to good old email, which is sitting at about 20% right now. Now, the SMS messaging app for Shopify stores by Engage allows you to tap into the power of SMS messaging, which will allow you as a Shopify store owner to not only build your customer list faster, increase sales, save time with automation, but most importantly, promote your new products with targeted, personalized campaigns. You can try it out. It's completely free to take for a test drive. You can do a 30-day free tr test trial and get 500 free SMS messages to try right away. You can even go to the website www.ngagge.com, put in any US-based mobile cell phone number and try it right there in real time as well to see how it works and see how cool it is to be able to use that power of SMS to connect. Try a free trial 30 days, 500 free messages at www.ngage.com. If you're not using SMS to market your brand, your products, your message, your community, and most importantly, your Shopify store, it's totally integratable. You're missing out on so much business. So don't leave that money on the table. Okay, SMS for Shopify by Engage. Okay, guys, time for me to introduce today's very special guest. His name is Cody Bramlett, and he's joining us from Santa Cruz, California. I always loved how that felt coming out of my mouth, Cody. Santa Cruz, California. Cody is a recovering, he says, personal trainer. From the looks of it, he's still training, turned eight-figure nutritional supplement brand owner. After scraping by as a personal trainer and gym owner, uh, Cody's supplement empire all started with solving one single problem, and that I love very much wasn't about him. It was about somebody else, which you always have to think about when it comes to marketing and building your brand. you got to solve somebody else's problem. Well, Cody's journey started when his father was suffering from chronic inflammation. We're learning, Cody, I'm super into health and wellness. We're learning inflammation is one of the biggest problems, I think, in all of our bodies across the world. And it was Brody's, Brody, uh, Cody's dad, who was in extreme pain because of his diet, because of stress and being overweight. So the doctors really couldn't help him. And that's when Cody said, you know what? I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to help my father. And he did it. His custom formulated products, such as turmeric with bioperine, which I've never heard of bioperine, interested to hear what that is, is what stopped his dad's chronic inflammation right in its tracks. And also he went on to do or excuse me, and he also went on to research the science behind other pure, very natural ingredients. This empowered Cody to start growing his company, Science Natural Supplements, to help others really enjoy a pain-free lifestyle. As a result of starting and scaling Science Naturals, Cody now also teaches other driven entrepreneurs how to profitably start scale and sell their own nutritional supplement brands through his coaching and mastermind called Supplement millionaire. And fun fact about Cody, and he doesn't even know I already know this, 
he's a big fan of all things with fur. And if you are watching our video version of the show, we see an example of that right over his shoulder. Little snoozer on the left, little snoozer on the right on the couch. Um, Cody, welcome to today's show. Thank you so much for joining us. And I'm excited to not only have you because I'm a big avid fan of healthy lifestyle, clean products, but the fact that your journey started with something so personal and dear to you, and that's the relationship you have with your father and seeing the chronic pain he was in and going through, uh, I think is just a fantastic tribute and testimony to what natural supplements can do. Yeah, definitely. It was a, it was interesting. My brother and I were actually on a family trip in Mexico and uh, I was struggling because I hated my gym. I hated the fact that I was selling, you know, 50 classes a week with an unlimited membership for a hundred bucks a month. And people told me it was expensive and it just beat my soul up when I'd see someone lose 30 pounds and they'd be like, yeah, but it's not worth my time. And so I kind of was getting exhausted of that idea. And we were in Mexico on a family vacation, hanging out and I was trying to figure out what would be next. And we were trying to determine how, what could be the next big thing. And turmeric kind of came up and it came because actually my dad's doctor had said, go eat turmeric. And so that's where that adventure went of how do we, how do we figure out and solve this problem? What is he said? Why did the doctor say this? What is so important about this, this uh, supplement? And this was about a year and a half before it went mainstream. And so before, you know, all the TV shows, Oprah and all stuff like had it on, had it on, on, on television, we'd probably done about 6 million in sales at that point. So we were one of the first in that the direct marketing kind of world to be able to uh, get the product out there and, and start selling it. And it was exciting because it was a good adventure to learn how to become a supplement business owner. And it was also fun because I actually had some passion and truth behind the story in, in the sales copy, which was always good because we know there's a lot of charlatans out there that make up a lot of stuff that just isn't real. And it's unfortunate. Well, I think as a consumer too, anytime that someone has a true personal story that supports and, and is a testimony of the success of a brand or a supplement, that's that's one thing that makes people feel really confident about a brand. But anytime you have science behind a brand, especially a health supplement, you have case studies or you know um, statistics or you know. A B testing where you did a placebo versus the supplement, and you see that the outcomes are always in favor of the supplement. That's also something that makes people feel feel really good. It's funny that you said that your doctor told your dad, by the way, to go eat turmeric because I love Indian food. I love cooking with cumin or turmeric. I love spice and I love different flavors, but turmeric has a very unique flavor profile. And not many people want to go around sprinkling turmeric on their stuff. I'll sometimes put it on eggs or also I don't eat eggs very often actually anymore, but I'll sprinkle it a lot when I make certain types of meat, right? Chicken and stuff, but it's very unique. So a supplement is a fantastic way to truly incorporate, incorporate turmeric into your diet, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's one of those things too. Now at my gym, people would bring in supplements that were incredibly overpriced and didn't have the right amount of ingredients in there. And that's one of the things I wanted to make sure in our brand, Science for Supplements, that we were products that were simple, real, and only what you need. So the idea mm. is that it's not full of filler. It's not full of just stuff to make the product cheaper. It's actually a good product. However, we, we did make a mistake at the beginning. We actually used curcumin, which is kind of the distilled version of turmeric down. So they yeah. just distilled it down. And it, it, we had a capsule that was 100% curcumin or 95% curcumin. So it was a massive amount of curcumin in the capsule. And it actually affected some some uh, some senior citizens took the product negatively. Like they're like, oh, stomach cramps or I had bowel yeah. issues because it's like taking, you know, super heavy ibuprofen or Advil um, because it has such anti-inflammatory properties. So over time, we changed our formula to be much more of a turmeric root based product with curcumin in it. And of course, bioprene, by the way, bioprene is just black pepper. If you have a certain percentage uh, percentage of it in an ingredient or a food product, it's considered bioprene based on patents and stuff like that. Um, but it's a, it's a proven way to increase absorption. If you just have turmeric by itself, it just goes straight through you. So that's why we had to add that into the to product. Otherwise it's just basically worthless. Ooh, a little turmeric, a little black pepper. That's a really good combination for effectiveness. Yeah, and let's well, think about curry. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of effectiveness, let's talk about how you took your brand. You not only grew it and scale it and helped so many people in the process, but you then took what you learned, which is why today really is a case study on what you've done in your supplement business, and you've turned around and created a coaching, um, really 
we'll call it a class mastermind program called Supplement Millionaire to help people follow in your footsteps. Now, what's neat about this is I'm sure you didn't do everything right the first time, like you shared, right, with that supplement that wasn't quite right. But when it came to marketing, when it came to web pages, when it came to where to be and how to advertise and how to upsell, I'm sure you made lots of mistakes, which is why today as our expert, you've got this really cool four-step blueprint um, on how to build your supplement empire really in record time, but through your mistakes, people don't necessarily have to remake those mistakes. For those of you watching on our video, I did put up a quick outline on the screen. For those of you listening on our podcast, hello, hello, and I know so many of you are. I'll read through this for those of you listening in, but four easy steps, Cody says. That's all we need. First, we're going to talk about how to increase AOV. We'll learn what AOV means because I didn't even know until today's show, which is crazy. Uh, I'm in digital marketing, y'all. How did I not know what this meant? Do you? Okay, we're going to learn in a minute. We're going to talk about page load times. What about them? We're going to talk about heat maps. We're going to talk about how to upsell purchases and front end specials, which upsell purchases sounds fantastic. But when I think of front end specials, what's funny is I'm like, well, wait a minute. We don't have a store. We don't have a showroom. How does that even terminology build into the world of digital marketing? So this will be fun. Cody, let's start with this idea of increasing AOV. And for people wondering what that's an acronym for, please give us Average the Average order value. Okay. This is the most important metric besides PPO, profit per order, that you okay. need to know. Because if you're able to increase your average order value, you're most likely increasing your profit per order, which means you can pay out more in ads for either affiliates and direct marketing space, like I do a lot of my traffic in, or on Facebook or YouTube or wherever it may be. So your goal is to make sure your average order value is as high as possible. And we take certain offers. Um, one of the case studies that we're going to bring up today went from an $88 average order value to 130 through split testing and, and variations of just improving it over and over throughout the years. Um, so it's it's incredibly important to know your average order value, to know your average order value based on traffic, different traffic sources, to know your average order value based on each and each and variant funnel you have. So if you have people coming in buying product A or product B, understanding what the difference is of average order value, average order value, so you can start to understand what and why the consumer does something and start testing to see if it works on everything that you do on all your different um, traffic sources and, and offers. We've talked a lot during this series about testing and specifically A-B testing and how effective it can be at pinpointing exactly what works, what doesn't, what works the fastest, what doesn't. And the one thing I think is really cool that you and I spoke about quickly before the show is you gave me access to something that you call the e-commerce hybrid sales page. And when I pulled it up, I was like, whoa, this looks awesome. I'm already ready to buy, which is crazy. Um, but you said, and I'll pull it up for those of you watching the video, and we can talk through it for those of you listening on the podcast. But this e-commerce hybrid sales page you shared is almost an example of everything that you are teaching your clients, correct? 100%. So before okay. we get into too much detail, I want to describe for people listening. There are four types of ways to convert a customer. First is e-commerce. That is a traditional product on a, in a product store on Shopify. Um, second is called a TSL, a text sales letter. And that is those 10,000 word sales pages where you land on it, you start reading this giant story and article, and then halfway through the page, you're like, oh, this is a sales pitch, right? Mm -hmm. And the third is what's called a video sales letter. It's when you land on a video that starts playing, has a funny countdown and some terrible story about a car accident, and then it goes into a story that goes into a sales pitch. And the fourth, what I'm showing you today, which is what I'm most proud of, is what's called an e-commerce hybrid. We're taking the best of an e-commerce store and that concept and the idea of telling a story and merging them together in a short format page that allows you to build, um, allow your customer to know, like, and trust you so you can get a two, three, or 4% conversion rate on day one when people just first land on your page. And that's what I want people to be able to achieve. Wow. And that's impressive because we've talked so much about how expensive it is to acquire a customer and how expensive it is to drive customers to your page. So when they're on your page, the last thing you want them to do is leave. Uh, and of course, the longer they stay on your page, 
the more likely they are to find what they need and likely be inclined to purchase. So for those of you watching the video, I'm sharing a screen right now. It is a science natural supplements page. It's what it's what uh, Cody calls this hybrid sales page. Describe for me, Cody, and for those of those of our audience listening, what we're seeing right when we go to this page. Definitely. And so by the way, this has been tested over and over again. We have multiple products with the same variation of, of design. So this does work. The goal of this page is to give the customers one ability to do something, and that is to purchase the product. So if you look at the beginning, it has a little, uh, hey, we're running out, you know, working on the clock to keep up with orders because you want to make sure people know that there is high demand for the product. Mm -hmm. We then have a navigation bar that's only a navigation bar for this page. They cannot leave this page. They cannot look at other products. They are stuck learning about this one particular product because we're trying to solve this one particular product problem and reach customers talking about one thing. You know, jack of all trades is a master of none. We want people to think about one thing when they're here. And then we also have an incredible deal on the page, which gets them interested and want to continue forward. So because people who are landing in this come from an email or an ad that says, hey, do you like turmeric? We'll find out how you can get a, a free bottle of turmeric here. They click the button. And so this page immediately has the deal of the page. Buy one bottle, get three bottles free. Now, I do not recommend ripping off and copying this. It took me a long time to make this profitable. But this concept of offering a crazy deal, whether it be a percentage off, free shipping, a free bottle, some kind of unique uniqueness to your offer is key. So we have that headline there telling what's going on, and then we have a video. And the video you do not have to have. We have videos, we have pages that do have it and don't. This is just a video of me being like, hey, what is turmeric? And I have a five-minute video just describing turmeric, the benefits, how it helps you, and what, what it is. Just really simply explaining it. I shot this on a white wall with an iPhone camera. I found a person on Upwork to do the video editing and add in the add in the stuff. Probably spent about three or four hundred bucks in the video, like probably in 2018. So this is the older video for sure. You look so young. I love uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to the beard and everything there. Yeah, so, and your hair is lighter. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that video kind of just shares what turmeric is, and you can do this about any product. It's a way to connect with the audience. But if you look at the script, I'm not saying this is what turmeric is. I'm saying, do you have a problem of this? Do you have a problem of that? I'm listing all the things that can be solved. And then I'm explaining, explaining what turmeric is and how it solves those problems. So I'm not trying to beat someone, um, a browbeat somebody. I'm not trying to tell them what they already think they might know. I'm just trying to answer questions in a very creative way of doing that. It's a very simple script. I had a, a friend who was a copywriter literally go, oh, do it this way. And I filmed her and she just wrote the script for me and I translated it and then shot it myself. You know what um, so, I like about this, Cody, by the way, the yeah. fact that you, obviously there's a little bit of a color scheme I see happening, just a little bit of orange and black. You're wearing black. Um, certain words are highlighted in orange, kind of draws your eye to it, but you kept this really simple and clean. So like you said, not only is the opportunity to, you know, the menu to scroll all going to take you to product related pages and nothing different. But there's nothing here to distract somebody and be like, you know what? Oh, speaking of that lamp in the background, I forgot to change the light bulb over in my lamp this morning. You know, like once someone's here, it's really easy to receive the message, which I think is fantastic. Exactly. Kind of limit distractions. Yeah. Um, and as we keep scrolling down, we then start to understand, you know, what is turmeric and the benefits? So we're repeating the benefits that are in the video. I'm just basically took the script and I bullet pointed it out. And so down there, we're showing what it is. And then I'm also showing what they're going to get in the product, the four bottle solution. Now, this is something that's, that's important. A lot of times a Shopify page allows a customer to pick one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, how many products they want to buy. We're giving someone one option and making it a deal of a lifetime that they don't want to get away from. And that that reduces the anxiety of what, how many do I get? What do I get? I mean, I, I'm, I'm a wealthy guy. I've been very successful and lucky in my life, right? And I still get anxiety when it comes to buying stuff. But <laughs> if I get presented a singular option, there is either buy or leave, you know, die or, uh, buy or die. Like that's the kind of concept we want someone to achieve. So we're showing what they're going to get. If you have the option on your Shopify page to do that multiple options, like your six bottle option or a multi-pack of something, that will work better than giving someone the option to choose. Um, so then we scroll down a little further. We have a little blur about who I am, Cody. This is literally stuff that came out of the script from the video and modified slightly discover the most powerful source of super nutrients and what turmeric is. And we kind of then describe again what turmeric is. So it's just, we're repeating what the video was. You know, we're making it very clean and simple. The, the font is simple to use. Um, it's simple to read. It's great on mobile. The image is clean. We don't do the background images that can get stuck behind text. You know, it's very, 
everything's divided out and separate. Um, we have revealed today's deal, even though they already know the deal, we're kind of just exciting them about the, the concept there. And if we keep scrolling a little further, we'll actually reveal the deal slightly further, how to use the product, just kind of little bits here. And then we have the deal, buy one, get three free. And wow. this, is the, this is the buy box section. So if you think of e-commerce page, you have the images on the left, you have a little bit of a description, and then you have the price point and you know, subscribe and save or you know the packages or whatever it is. Those are great, but there's too many options. So if we scroll a little further, there's your buy button. And when you click buy one, get three free, it gives you a pop-up and says, Ooh. you have an option to double your order and get free shipping or take the original order. I like that. I would immediately want to do both. I, I mean, do two orders. Take, yeah. take that option. So 45% of the people go from a $49 purchase to a $100 purchase mm -hmm. immediately. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the sales page just kind of repeats itself. It just goes, hey, term is great for you. Here's the deal. Hey, here's the guarantee. Hey, here's the deal. And the point mm -hmm. of that original sales page that we were just on is really to try and Get the customer to know, like, and trust you. Building that customer connection, building that uh, that uh, that uh, reliability that you want to share that your company has, so that way they are comfortable making that purchase. We make the guarantee 180 days. We make it as big and loud as possible. We want them to know that they are safe doing this. And a lot of that video compels that too. I talk in there about the guarantee and how it's all risk is on me. It's all about you know you changing your life right now. So trying to share those those concepts is is absolutely key. Um, so the page itself takes what a normal e-commerce page does and just layers on the authenticity of the company, layers mm -hmm. on the story of the product, the founder, the, the discovery of whatever it is or the invention of the product. And then it takes that singular purchase and allows someone to immediately double their order. Um, we did test, by the way, having the buy one, get three free and the buy two, get six free options on the page and conversions fell on both options massively. So by giving someone that one option to purchase and then immediately giving them the, that secondary um, upgrade opportunity before they even land on the checkout page has proven time and time again in our testing um, to work and increase the average order value. I think that test alone right there raised our average order value by like 12 bucks on average. I bet. So, huge. Well, we've talked about this a lot during our series this year. As consumers, we are now growing to expect to never pay for shipping. It has been given to us so freely. Sometimes, obviously, we are paying for it by increasing our order value. But between some of the big box online e-commerce stores that make it so easy to get things shipped for free um, because they do such huge volumes and other, other opportunities, when we have to pay for shipping, I think we all kind of shrivel inside just a little bit and we're kind of let down. It's We're just conditioned now. Yep. And that's why I try and use that shipping to leverage them away from the lower price package to the higher price package. So we we've done we do a lot of sales pages too, where they have an option of one bottle, three bottle, or six. And that's also on the page. And we we highlight the six bottle option. We show the savings. We just make it as beautiful as possible. We do free shipping on that one. We might include a free bottle. And then the other options are extremely higher price per unit. They're, they have to pay for shipping. They don't get anything free. So it 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 we're trying to really price anchor to get people to buy the more expensive package on the first shot. Let me ask you this, Cody. One question that comes to mind for your specific supplement, it's very specific. The page works to have the one product, but what happens, and I know you are a supplement company, so you may have other supplements obviously out there, yes. but what if one of your clients says, hey, I have an entire product line that spans supplements from vitamin A to zeolite, right? A to Z. Does this format still work? Do you tweak it a little bit or do you lead them to create separate pages for each product? And then that's right the one. There. Separate, the separate pages. So the short answer is you have to know your audience. Just because you have 20 products doesn't mean your audience wants 20 products. Mm -hmm. And with the ability to hone down our searching, whether we're choosing from, you know, specific email lists or, you know, picking the right audience in YouTube and Facebook or TikTok or whatever it may be, you're going to find someone in a particular niche and you want to wow them and knock their socks off by solving that one problem first. Then once they're your customer, Hey, by the way, 
you also might need A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? Oh, and have an ultimate package that will take care of everything and you can get a subscription and all that fun stuff. But you need to capture the customer first. So simplifying your offering, simplifying your um, product uh, you know, availability to their vision mm -hmm. allows you to really hyper-focus in on the customer and acquire them. Because if I said, hey, we're science out of supplements, like no one cares. But if I go, hey, we're science house supplements, buy one turmeric, get three free, you're now interested. And uh, by the way, too, these, these funnels that you start with, they have to be the most popular products. So mm -hmm. I call it the zeitgeist. Turmeric is in the zeitgeist. Everyone knows about turmeric. They've all heard about it. You don't have to educate them and teach them from A to Z what it is. You know, we, ha we have a, a supplement tincture that's all about weight loss, right? It lowers your, core, it lowers your body's um, ability to build up cortisol which then allows people to burn weight. Um, Love that. Yeah, it's, it's African that. mango root. It's a handful of other awesome ingredients and, and it works well. Um, that one requires a humongous story that's like 6,000 words long to teach what the heck it is, where it came from, how it works, the science behind it. And those ones are a little harder to get in front of the, the right audience. You know, they, mm -hmm. they, they work well. That offer's mm -hmm. done millions of dollars. But these e-commerce hybrids, I truly think are the wave of the future because it, it's that missing ground that a customer is not getting when they're landing on your Shopify page and they're just not knowing anything about you or your company in terms of how good you are. And then they start clicking around to understand more. And then 10 minutes later, they're somewhere else because they've clicked 10 different times and then, you know, got distracted. Ooh, to, that, yeah. that totally leads us to talking a little bit about heat maps. Yes. Um, I know we can kind of include, you know, the page load times, um, as well, but what would you like specifically to share about page load times? Cause I think we can all agree if it takes too long, we're all out. Like, Definitely. Done. So like you get one chance to make that impression. 100%. So within Shopify, of course, it's making sure you have the right plugins, you have the right systems to make sure that your pages are loading fast enough, but it's also about keeping it simple, right? Earlier you, you talked about, um, the page being clean, right? There was no distractions. There was nothing else. There's no things flying across the page. There's no images dancing, right? There's no slide up, slide outs. Those things all require bandwidth uh, on the page. If your page is more or less static, it will load faster. I'm really a fan of HTML, like the simplicity of HTML. So if you have a way to build HTML and put it up as a lander for Shopify and then use the Shopify cart afterwards, phenomenal. Cause you're gonna have a page that will load significantly quicker. Um, but when you start using too many animations, too many things happening, um, you're given the options of too much clicking and, and on the page, there's just the page will not load as fast. Um, mm. I, I know a lot of people love a thing called uh, click funnels, which is a, another system that can integrate with all these different stuff. Um, it's slow load time because it's a, a system that has layers and layers and layers of theming and elements and stuff involved. I like to keep things as simple as possible, using as raw code as possible and um, making sure, of course, that it's designed for mobile mobile yeah oh design for mobile is a big one a big one and even it might be the what you just spoke of the what did you call it click click funnels click funnels there's there's something i'm noticing so i have two laptops one's kind of on its way out in terms of being outdated with the safari and the chrome it's a disaster the other one's new and there are some websites that will load just fine on the new system and even though the old system is updated and loads 99%, there are still some web pages I've noticed that will not even barely load or give me an error. And it's almost like, I just wonder if it's that, you know, code that just still isn't recognized by the older, um, you know, operating systems. Yeah, and, and that's the, the part, as, as owners, we have to understand that. So keeping it as simple as possible, whether it just be raw HTML or the simplistic design that you can in Shopify, yeah. um, that, that allows the page to be read easier. And that allows the systems to, to go with. Because a lot of times our audience, especially in, in the health space, you're dealing with an older crowd for sure, right? You know, if you're, if you're dealing with bikinis and happy, fun stuff on there for the youthful audience, they're all using their smartphones. It doesn't matter at that point. Um, but but in, in the health world, it's definitely, you know, 40 plus audience because that's when you start caring about your health and life. You're like, wait a minute, I'm Isn't not invincible anymore. Go figure. Isn't that the truth? Well, you know, that being said, something as simple as the size of the font can also impact the experience. I noticed when we pulled up your page, the font was not huge, but it wasn't tiny. It was in a place where whether it's on an iPhone or a laptop or a tablet, iPhone, laptop, iPhone is a whatever. Uh, anyway, on whatever device, it was easily read by a wide spectrum, broad range of people. 
Good yep. point. Good. Look at you. That's why you're the expert. Well, exactly. Let's talk about heat maps. Yeah, heat maps are fun. So I like uh, there's ones there's a uh, hot jar, lucky orange, there's all these little softwares out there and you drop them on your domain and it will tell you uh, an idea of what's going on from all your visitors. And I imagine there's a bunch of plugins as well for that specifically for Shopify. Um, but nonetheless, it allows you to see things. And so what I love to do is on these is to understand where customers are leaving the page. And you do that through what's called the scroll, the heat scroll. So usually on these systems, when you do it, you log in, you can see all the pages within your domain and you just click on the one that you wanna view. And at that point, you just start scrolling and you pick the section where it says looking for scrolls, not clicks. We don't care what people are clicking. I mean, you can care, but I care most about where people are scrolling and how many people are leaving. So on the scroll, it'll tell you at the beginning, 100%. percent it be like bright red or bright green, whatever color the system has. And as you start to bring the cursor down the page, you'll see that it goes like 96, 97, or 95, 94, 93, 92. It'll start showing you where people are dropping off. And our goal is to not go, oh, people are leaving, I'm sad. It's to see where it goes, you know, 80, 65, where there's a massive mm -hmm. drop off. Those are the sections we want to look for because that means there's something upsetting the customer in that area. One thing I found, which is going to sound counterintuitive, everything and everybody, everybody's heard about in Shopify is that when testimonials are too high up on the page, people bounce. Interesting. And, and my assumption on this is that they feel like they're being sold before they've developed that rapport with you. Interesting. And this is a hypothesis still. It's It's been proven on a lot of our longer sales pages. But what I feel like will help, is worth testing for sure, is building up that rapport of who you are as a company and how you're solving problems and what's solving the problem before you say, oh, and Susie and Mark and Jimmy all love this product too. Because well, at that point, you're, you're literally in a product phase. You're in the buying section. And I feel like that, that should come this, after buying. Yeah. Like I'm thinking back to the page that we looked at that was yours. If the, let's just say if the testimonials came before your video, right? Yeah. Susie's inflammation stopped and she hails amazing, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, what even is this stuff, right? Just, just say you didn't really know that much about turmeric. You know, your video did a good job, like welcoming people, introducing them to the concept and answering those questions, like you said, proposing those questions. But uh, yeah, that, may, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, I think they are, they are very important and definitely that page needs more of them. We have not included enough, mm -hmm. um, but it, it's something that uh, it, it needs to be around or after the buy section. So mm -hmm. if we think about a sales page concept, it really breaks down to story, star, and solution. So here's a story about the thing we're helping solve the, uh, the help. Here's your story about something that happened. Mm -hmm. um, here's the person that that thing happened to, and here's the solution to that, that thing. And so we've, we can kind of craft these pages in that way. We're like, hey, you know, my name is Cody and I have an inflammation problem and I want to tell you about all the problems I have. And here it is. And I went on this journey and I found out from my doctor that this is the things to do. And so I realized that by taking this product is going to change my life. Story star solution, right? And that whole mm -hmm. journey, I'm not being like, and Mark said this, that also worked. That would come after you talk about the product, after you reveal what, what is happening and what the customers are there for. So I think it's kind of crucial to test that for sure. But um, yeah, just well, food for thought. Think about who does uh, e-commerce really well. We all know the big box. It's also part of the jungle. At the very end, you have to scroll all the way to the bottom before you can see photos or reviews and read things and testimonials and such. So I feel like it makes a lot of sense. But I never thought, is it bad? I think our podcast reviews are kind of near the top. People who liked our guests and people who like our podcast is near the top of our podcast page. Is that does that count? We're not selling anything. I don't, I don't know. know. Gotta we'll gotta test to... it. <laughs> Ooh, this is interesting. Interesting. Oh, this is fun. This is a fun conversation. I think uh, if you guys are listening right now, what do you think? This is this is interesting because I think some of this we we knew. But some of it, I don't even know that we really thought about, like the HTML situation and choosing what type of format you want your page to be, how that can affect the load time. This is interesting. Um, you've made this easy, and I see why you are deemed the, uh, you know, supplement millionaire or why you call that, you know, your program that because uh, 
It's just brilliant. It's simple. But if you can make these things work and really almost categorically fine tune things with this strategy, it makes sense that you're going to streamline everything and increase those order values and, and have lots of customers really feeling connected to you, connected to the brand, excited about what your product can do for them and ultimately converting, which is what you want. Yes. Let's talk about upsell purchases and front end specials. How do we incorporate that into building our eight figure income? Yeah, definitely. Do you mind popping that page open again? The term one we have? Not open? at all. For those of you listening again, we're going to pop up onto the screen this idea of a, we're calling it the hybrid sales page, which if you've been listening, puts into play everything Cody's been teaching us. Where would you like me to go on that page, Cody? Well, I just want to point out too, like, so this idea of taking someone on a funnel versus a sales or e com page is crucial because an e-commerce page, they get to choose one, two, three units they buy, they add to cart, they purchase, they're done. Our goal here is to take someone on a purchase journey and give them a curated adventure of products to purchase. Mm -hmm. And I have, I have uh, clients who are in the direct marketing affiliate space. This is where I do a lot, a lot of my sales in. And I have clients who are in the, the Shopify, you know, built Facebook ad kind of customers. And this works both sides. So you have the sales page, it's all there. That idea of the front end special is that idea of the pop-up, but also the buy one, get three free, you know, not giving the person the ability to choose the units, but giving them the idea that here is the package I want to sell you today. And here's why. And it's amazing because it's great. And we're right now stock. That's the first thing. The second thing is that instant pop-up. So when you click that buy one, get three free off uh, a button, it pops up and it says today only upgrade your purchase and get free shipping. Yes, I'll take the free shipping. Buy two, get six free. So they have the ability to immediately double their order and save 10 bucks on shipping and handling or below. No, thank you. I'll just pay for the shipping. And we highlight the the, uh, the buy mm -hmm. two, get six free button all big. We make the, the original button kind of less sexy, kind of a grayer, more boring color. And this really does a huge ability to get people to purchase. Now, you might be like, well, that's misleading. People are going to want refunds. Yeah, some people want refunds. That's just is what it is, right? We have about an 8% refund rate for this page. whoop de doo um, When you calculate the numbers in, you're able to understand the, the product, the purchase flow and how it works and take care of it. But most people aren't upset about this. They get a, they get confused on potentially the upsell pages. But even though it's a small, small amount of people. So what I want to do is now show you what's important after someone purchases and those are the upsells so if you can kind of delete that just close the pop-up real quick okay and then delete that hashtag benefit on the url perfect mm -hmm. and then put backslash u1 so within shopify there's a bunch of systems i think um ezra firestone has has one there's a bunch of systems that will do upsells now these um some are good some are bad you want to have you want to have use one that has the ability to do the most uh, design on the page um, a lot of them are like headline video buy box and that's fine too, but you want to make sure you have the ability to share as much as possible. So this page right here we're doing is after someone purchases that one product, the only option they have on the page is you want to give them the option to buy more. So you, if you scroll down the page, we can see it just goes, Hey, you know, this is a great decision. You know, I'm so excited for you. And if you keep scrolling the bottom, there's an option for someone to get, I think the same deal again, buy two, get six free. It, it could be something related to that deal. But the point is you're trying to do the same option. And then you're giving them another discount for adding to their order. And this is important. If you go to the grocery store and you're buying some steak for a barbecue, you want to buy more steak. If the guy says, hey, if you buy two, I'll give you a third steak free. Okay. Oh, and by the way, for those who bought two steaks today, um, you can get uh, free chicken skewers if you uh, buy one more. Okay. That's important because it's all related to the same category. If he said, Oh, by the way, if you go over to the cleaning section, we'll give you some mopping fluid. You're going to be like, no, I don't want oh, mopping fluid. That's not what I came for. So we're giving some, the, the customer the ability to buy more of what they came from. And now this will be the what will confuse customers the most. And you will have most people call about refunds because of this, because if they're confused, they're just confused. And again, 8% refund on this page. I imagine 2 or 3% of that is related to this offer. But that means the other, I think, I think about 40% of people buy this offer are happy. So they're not disappointed. So don't be discouraged by, you know, a you know, few apples, don't let a few apples ruin the whole bunch. You know, we want to give people the opportunity to do that. So once they buy this, they can move to the next page to get something else, or they can say no, thank you. Now we like to do down sales. A no, thank you is the same package at a cheaper price or a smaller package. And it's the last chance. And you'd be surprised. 
about 10 to 15% of people will take that option. This is a pop-up version. So it just pops up and goes, hey, you know, get this crazy deal and save a little bit more money. And so the idea is we're just trying to share that opportunity. And you may be like, oh my gosh, I feel so like a used car salesman, right? I'm just, just please buy, please buy, please buy. But you know what? We're actually giving people what they want. And that's shown through the fact that we have an incredibly low refund rate and we have very happy customers. And that whenever I send this offer out again to my list via email, it does like $50,000 in sales because people love this offer. So we're not wow. doing something wrong. We're servicing the customers where they want to be. Um, if you go back to the URL and type in uh, U2 instead of U1, that's the next step. So once someone sees the turmeric offer, the next step is to share with them a similar product. So this is like the meat counter guy being like, oh, by the way, we have um, a deal on charcoal on aisle two as well. Oh, you know, it's not meat, but I do need more charcoal. So this right here, we bring up, I think this is Moringa as the product. If we scroll on down, we can kind of see what it was. I don't remember what's on this funnel. Yep, Himalayan superfood, Moringa. So Ooh. Moringa is another Zeitgeist product. We have a buy one, get three free offer for this as well. And people like Moringa because it's also good for reducing inflammation. It's got tons of great vitamins. It's good for skin. It's good for hair. It's kind of a, a superfood in in uh, the Africa and um, I believe the, uh, the Jamaica and like those areas. Yeah. It's actually a, it's a tree there, and they can use they use the tree for everything. It's like that like ultimate like like hemp can be used for everything. Moringa can be used for everything. Nice. Um, and then we give them an option to get uh, I think buy one or buy two get six free. Yep. And we're offering the higher deal package. And again, if they say no, then we offer them the ability to get the lower deal package. Or we have it here, here as well. And then you can do that a couple times. I would say no more than twice. So you can have three upsells and three downsells in a funnel. But I want to bring up a huge important aspect of this. So a gentleman in our coaching group, he has a, a, a mushroom tincture. Uh, he does lion mane stuff. And he had the ability to pick anything you want, you know, pick one, two, three. And I think he was getting on average about a $49 average order values. People were usually getting one or two bottles and purchasing. He went around and changed his sales funnel to mimic this exact process, but he did a, a one bottle, a three bottle, and a six bottle option. He just recently did a thousand dollar order. Where a customer Up from how much? In, Up from 49? From, from 49, yeah. Wow. And, it, and I think it's average like 260 right now. So that means that one customer came in and loved the concept of him so much, loved the story, loved the product that he was like, I want six, I want six and just bought six of everything he had and, you know, spent a thousand dollars in one shot. Wow. Um, it's, it's incredible when you give someone the ability who wants to spend money with you to spend money, they will. Right. You think, think about me. I'm, I'm I, I do well again. I'm a hyper. When I want something, I will just keep spending money and mm -hmm. you want to mm -hmm. find those customers and you want to focus on those customers. Think about Disneyland. This is a great example right now. Disney is obsessed with high-end customers. You cannot go to Disneyland for like under 500 bucks right now. It's insane. Where it used to be much cheaper. And they're focusing on taking care of those high-end customers. And everyone else is having to spend as much as they can to get a piece of that. So you want to try and find those hyper buyers for your audience, for your customers. And get them to spend as much as they can. Take care of them as best you can. And you will in turn make more money and have a happier, you know, pe group of people following you. And you'll be less inflamed and have amazing hair too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> well, I think that this, as you call it, the hybrid sales page is like so perfect in terms of, and obviously this is something you've worked on for a long time, but it's the right amount of education the right amount of sales, the right amount of story, as you said, the right amount of, you said, story, star, solution, yep. you know, proposing the problem, giving the solution, and then making the customer feel also like they are getting a deal. People love to feel like they're getting a deal. End of story. So yep. when you even say no thanks, I don't really want to spend that much. You're like, okay, what about if I just take 10 more bucks off? Would you be happy then? And someone's like, oh, shoot, I really did want it. And I wasn't going to do it for... 99, but yeah, 88 is pretty great. Okay, I'll do it, you know, especially because we know this is a price point that isn't, you know, it's not a luxury vehicle. It's not a brand new boat. It is a supplement. It's something that people, if they like it, they're probably going to have to take it for a while. So if they feel like they're getting a great deal and they know they'll have to purchase again, even better. You know? Exactly. And people buy for their families and all stuff too. It's just, it's just an awesome deal. Um, 
And this actually came from me because I was afraid to do continuity back in the day. So the idea of just selling more made sense and it's, it's worked out and we've just stuck to that philosophy and it's, it's been able to service our customers well, give great deals and because they're buying more, we can give them at a cheaper price You know, everything. Everything is a, it's a win, win, win across the board. And it's so, a buy one win. No, buy two wins, get six free. Exactly. And mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's just all about taking care of the customer and finding and meeting them on the level where they want to be, you know, making sure that you can find that. And, you know, we, we teach in the course how to actually determine what the price point can be, how to how to determine how much profit you can get out of a funnel. Um, it's all it's all about trying to help people figure out how to make that funnel for themselves, for their product, for their customer audience to be able to really succeed and have a, a million dollar a year or even a million dollar a month kind of product. Well, I know you and I spoke briefly before we started our show today. For those people listening, does your, let's say, we'll call it a four-step blueprint, work across all the different shopping applications you see out there, Shopify, WooCommerce, you know, individual web pages? Are there ways to take parts of it and make it work? Or do you see this working best on certain platforms? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, these these are marketing principles, right? This is stuff mm -hmm. that's been taught for years. Dan Kennedy, Bill Glazer, like these are like direct marketing uh, kind of guys that have been in this space forever. And what they taught in the 70s, 80s, 90s, the two, the knots, it's all the same. It's just how do we apply it to what technology? So whether you're using Shopify, ClickBank, BuyGoods, all these different platforms, whether you're using Facebook ads only or you're working with email lists and doing affiliate marketing, um, the idea is we want to apply these kind of direct marketing principles because that's how customers know, like, and trust you at a faster rate. That's how you get them to spend more money. That's how you get them to become a part of your tribe and willing to spend tons when you say, hey, I have a new thing. They all want it. It's building that community there. Um, so, yeah, when, what we teach applies across the board. Um, obviously, in the affiliate direct marketing world, you can have a larger impact. But if you're not doing this stuff on your e-commerce store inside of Shopify, you are probably giving away the ability to make two or three times more than you are now without changing your traffic source, without changing your customer base, because giving someone that ability just to spend more money is the first step. Like if you just do that, give them that one option to say yes by clicking a button, you're going to make more money without doing much of anything else. You know what's interesting about that too? We had a... Um... A great guest this year, Andrew Foreman from Gives, which helps teach people to go away from like specifically like coupon codes, right? 50% off because people, again, get conditioned to that. And instead, they give businesses the opportunity to offer discounts that actually go to charity, right? Mm -hmm. I think what I really like too about your system is you're conditioning people to buy more because it's a better deal. You're not necessarily conditioning people to, hey, every time you come here, I'm going to give you a deep discount or only visit my website because here's a coupon code for 50% off. Exactly. Right? That exactly. you're creating a customer that, yes, understands value and understands I pay less if I spend more technically, but you are um, you're not creating like bad habits with the way that they're shopping with you, which I think is fantastic. Exactly, exactly. Let's share with our audience uh, your website for this program and your coaching and really helping people understand how to put the best practices to use is supplementmillionaire.com, spelled just how it sounds, supplementmillionaire.com. What can our audience find there when they visit your website? Definitely. And I apologize for the goofy name. I just loved it when I first saw it was available. I think um, it's great. <laughs> it's simple. It's easy to understand. It, it, exactly. And it, it's, if you're in, especially if you're in the supplement business, I certainly would want to go to somebody who specialized in coaching sales on that versus somebody else who just did a general sales program. So I think exactly. it's great. And so what we teach will apply to anybody that has a consumable product that is something that you can sell multiples of. And, and so if you have a product that's not supplements, this will relate to it. Beauty, skincare, those kinds of aspects, shampoos, things like that. Any kind of usable product, it, it works. And what we do is we have a, a whole blueprint. We call it the Supplement Millionaire Blueprint. And what it is, it's about 40 videos. And we walk you through the entire idea of the sales funnel. 
we walk you through how to find the copywriters to help you write the copy. Because, you know, I want you to become a CEO. I want you to become the owner of the company. I want you to build a team and staff. We want to teach you these tactics. So we teach you about the entire funnel building process. We teach you about the idea of the affiliate marketing and direct marketing world, which is not applicable but it, it, to everybody, but definitely is a awesome way to generate traffic and find customers and find uh, new sources of revenue. Because, you know, obviously you probably are on Shopify. You're probably on Amazon. Why aren't you on these direct marketing platforms too? So having uh, the ability to learn about all that, we then do weekly coaching. We teach people about operations. Running your company is crucial. I did it by myself too long to the point where I was breaking down. Now that I have a full team, I don't stress that much. I travel, I enjoy life, and I make great money. So building a team that works is cr crucial. Learning how to drive sales and learning how to understand your sales and your sales metrics is one of the calls. So we do that where we really dive into call uh, your sales stuff. Third call, we teach about copywriting and how to improve your marketing in, in terms of your uh, copy and your sales page. And then fourth, we, every month we do a QA and a where you just are there to answer any question you have. So it's not like you're just being spoken to. You actually get to have the dialogue back with us. And our goal is to help everyone succeed. And uh, yeah, if you go to the website, supplementmillionaire.com, I have a 35 minute, 40 minute presentation where I kind of walk through this entire process. You can also download a checklist and a Gantt chart, which kind of walks you through the entire build out of a process of the, uh, of the funnels and this kind of process. My goal is to simplify. You know, at the beginning you talked about, um, I've made mistakes. I've made a million dollars of mistakes. I calculated it once a million dollars. I should have in my pocket, not sales profit. And I don't want anybody to have to go through those. So that's why we kind of made the course and made the program because I want to introduce people who are interested directly to the best people, directly to the best places, directly to the best software. So that way they can, you know, hit the ground running and succeed in a, in a fast time versus struggling for months and years trying to figure it out. So we're just, we're here to help people succeed and hopefully make millions. You've heard it here at the Engage Digital Marketing Intelligence for Shopify podcast from a successful serial supplement entrepreneur. His name is Cody Bramlett. You can find out more about Cody at codybramlett.com, C-O-D-Y-B-R-A-M-L-E-T-T.com. And again, it's Science Health Naturals. If your curiosity was piqued about turmeric or moringa, mine is. I mean, I love turmeric, but yeah, I find that if I don't incorporate it as as um, how, how you say... Uh, consistently as one should. So I might have to get back on the wagon with some of my supplements and check out Science Health Naturals. Cody, thank you so much for taking some time to share your insights, your experience, a little bit more about what you've done to build and scale your brand to become so successful and what you're doing to help other supplement e-commerce businesses to also grow and be successful. We appreciate you sharing your time with us. It's been my pleasure. It's a lot of fun. And if anybody's needs help. That's what I'm there for. Don't be afraid to reach out. You can always ping me and I will answer. <laughs> oh, I love that. CodyBramlett.com. You can read more about Cody and connect with him there. And of course, SupplementMillionaire.com if you're interested in learning more about his coaching masterclass. Cody, thank you so much for your time. I had a pleasure getting to know you. Love seeing your fur babies in the back. I think one's back there stretching, getting up from the nap. Oh yeah. She's like, show's over. Show's over. Yep. I'm out of here. If you guys heard her collar, it just jingled. Well, I'm going to give my fur baby some love and look more into your products. I think uh, the only the one good trick I learned is maybe I'll just say no thank you just to get that extra couple dollars off a little insider podcast host discount. <laughs> love it. Uh, Cody, thanks again and congrats on all of your success. I'm wishing you so much more success now and into the future. Thank you. What an awesome show today. If you have, you heard Cody, if it's a usable product, even if it's a beauty product, uh, health supplements, shampoos, anything that can be used up where someone would likely want to return to purchase more or would want to purchase more in a sitting to get a better value, save money. It's kind of like the Costco concept, right? Why spend 10 bucks on 20 rolls of toilet paper when you can spend 15 and get 100 rolls of toilet paper, right? You know you're going to use it. Uh, check out CodyBramlett.com or Supplement Millionaire for more information. And of course, I've got to end the show and remind you to check out Engage.com because SMS messaging is a great way to let your customers know about other products that might be right for them, as Cody shared. Find out what they need, give them exactly what they need, and then you can turn around and, and sell them other products from your line. It's all about that laser focus, telling your story, getting their, their trust, 
before you try to sell them everything in your product line. I think that was a good takeaway from today as well. So make sure you check out Engage.com for the SMS app. And uh, you can take that for a free trial, 30 days with 500 free messages before you sign up for the app itself. I've, it's been a pleasure being your host. Don't forget to share the link to this podcast if you enjoyed it with a friend or a colleague, someone you know who may be struggling in the e-commerce world, or maybe you could just use some of the insights or heck, maybe they just need a little turmeric in their life, right? Make sure you share a link to this podcast. You can connect with Cody at CodyBramlett.com. And of course, you can connect with myself. If you or someone you know is interested in joining us for an episode of our podcast, we'd love to welcome new guests, whether you're a Shopify store owner, maybe you have a brand you'd like to do a case study show like we did today on how to grow a specific brand or niche, or maybe you've developed an app for Shopify and you'd like to share that with our audience. You can email me at marissa.m at ngage.com. That's M-A-R-I-S-S-A dot M at ngage.com. And of course, you can connect with Engage on LinkedIn. Our company page has a rainbow colored cog wheel. Look for that rainbow colored cog. And we are N-G-A-G-G-E dot com. All right, you guys, that is all for this episode of Digital Marketing Intelligence for Shopify. I appreciate you joining us. And again, my name is Marissa. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody.